And you're trying to get that variable by itself. Okay, so we've got log base three of two x equals two. And what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this log because we wanna get this argument you know, by itself, the two x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to exponentiate both sides of this equation by using base three. Now see how this is log base three? And this is an exponential function. We're raising both sides using base three. So that's the key. Just like when you multiply and divide, those are inverses. Adding and subtracting, those are inverses. In this case, taking the log and exponentiating, those are inverses, which means that they undo one another and we're left with two x equals three squared, which is nine. Now all we have to do is solve for x by dividing both sides by two and you can see that x equals nine halves. Okay, let's go to the next example and I'll show you uh, some other techniques here. So we've got negative one half log base four of three x equals negative two. So the idea here, just like in algebra, you know how you try to get the variable by itself? Here we're gonna try to get the logarithm by itself, okay? So again, kind of working from the outside in. I wanna get rid of this, <clears throat> excuse me, negative one half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative two. That's the reciprocal. These are gonna cancel, so if I do that to the left, I wanna also do it to the right. So now what we're left with is log base four of three x equals negative four, positive four, because the two negatives cancel, right? Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna get that three x by itself. So what's the uh, inverse of taking the log base four? Well, it would be to exponentiate both sides using base four. And just like in algebra where we you know do something to one side, we have to do it to the other to keep it balanced, right? So here you can see these are gonna be inverses, they cancel, we get three x equals four to the fourth, which is four times four times four times four, that's 256, and all we have to do is divide both sides by three, and we got it. So we've got three more examples. Now we're switching gears, we're working with natural log. See the ln here? Now they don't write it, uh, but it's understood to be base e, so this is log base e when you see the ln. Okay, so how do I, uh, get the natural log by itself. Well, again, working from the outside in, we wanna subtract five from both sides. Okay, so now we're down to two natural log of x equals 10. We're gonna then get rid of this two by dividing both sides by two. Okay, so now we're down to natural log of x equals five. And then again, remember, when you see that natural log, that's really log base e, so what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna exponentiate both sides using that base e and we get x equals e to the fifth. Now you can do e to the fifth on your calculator. Remember, e is just like 2.71 you know, to the fifth power, or you can use, of course, the e key, uh, the natural base e on your calculator.